Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin this lesson, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory that's due to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah, the only begotten Son, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Also, I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which are the true leaders of Israel. And also, I'm going to say Shalom to the whole full elect, the 144,000, along with the one-third men, women, and children that's listening in truth to city and who the Lord will have mercy upon. All right. And um, so the, um, so like, hold on. All right. You know, so this lesson, you know, I'm going to speak on the, um, on the Sabbath and then on, on the Sabbath. All right. Because the, um, the new moon dictates the Sabbath. All right. You know, a lot of, you know, a lot of these camps, you know, they believe that the, that the Sabbath is every Friday and Saturday sundown. All right. You know, which is, which is not true, man. That's going off. All right. This Lord said his thoughts is not our thoughts. His way is not our ways. All right. So, you know, the Lord ain't that simple, you know, to make, um, for it to be every Friday and Saturday to sundown, all right? So, so uh, let me go right to, this is Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. It says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, all right? Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, all right? So when people read this scripture, Exodus 20 and 9, six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, all right? You know, they going by Esau's calendar, all right? You look on your phone, on your calendar, all right, the first day of the week, you know, it's supposedly Wednesday, all right? So people see, people say, okay, I mean, uh, Salaki, I said Wednesday, Salaki, Sunday, all right? They see Sunday and be like, okay, six days from Sunday, all right, that gives you Friday and Saturday sundown. You know, that's, that's, that's being simple, all right? So, um, so if you go to the anima, the etymology of the word month all right it says let me try to underline where i'm at all right right here all right it says it says a uh, all right this is where i'm at uh, it says originally the month was the interval between one new moon and the next all right so the word month goes back to moon, all right. So, the so when you see new the um the new moon, I mean uh the new moon, all right. That's saying you know that's saying new month, all right. So the so the new moon, the new moon, and the Sabbath, you know they basically are the same thing, all right. The new moon dictates the Sabbath, all right. So the, so the Sabbath. Um, the Sabbath this month is from, it's from, um, Saturday sundown to Sunday sundown. All right. And, and that's the, um, that's the, that's the Sabbath for this month until the, until the next new moon comes. All right. So when the next new moon comes, all right, that's, that's going, that's the Sabbath. And from six days, six days after that, after the new month comes in, the, the, um, the new moon, Six days you're gonna labor, and then that seventh day is your is your um is your, is your Sabbath. All right, so the Sabbath is not every Friday to Saturday sundown. All right, so um, let me go to you know the proof, you know prove prove it prove it with the scriptures. All right, Isaiah is chapter sixty six and verse three, verse twenty three. Isaiah 66 and verse 23. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. All right. So the Lord, all right. You know, he, he you know, he's, you know, um, it says he shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another. All right. You know, the. The Lord is equating 
the uh the the new moon and the Sabbath. All right, because the new moon and and the Sabbath, you know, they're basically the same thing. All right, the Sabbath, you know, you treat the new moon like the Sabbath. All right, you you you're not supposed to work. All right, you're not supposed to um, you know, you're not supposed to be buying, selling. All right, so the so the new moon, you treat the new moon like a Sabbath. All right. Let me get another precept. This is uh Genesis tap Genesis chapter one and verse fourteen. It says, And the most high said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. Right, you know, so the sun, and then you got the moon. All right. And it says, And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Right, you know, so th this this is how we keep this is how we keep track. With, with the seasons, all right? That's how we keep keep track with the days and the years, all right? By by the signs in heaven, all right? The, the, the moon, all right? The moon dictates, you know, when the, you know, the moon is how we tell time, all right? You know, back back when we was in the wilderness, all right? Back when we was in, in the wilderness, all right? We, we wasn't, you know, we, we ain't have no calendar, all right? Back in the, back in Back in the old days, we ain't have people wasn't using no calendar. All right, we 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 was looking up at the signs of we were looking at we was looking up at the moon to to, to um dictate. All right, when's the Sabbath? All right, we was keep that's how we kept up with days and years. All right, Let me get another priest up. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 46 and verse 3. All right, it says, Likewise, the people of the land shall worship at the door of this gate before the Lord in the Sabbath and in the new moons. All right, so the Lord equating, you know, he equating the Sabbath and the new moon, you know, together. All right, there's, there's, there's no difference. All right, you treat, the, you treat the Sabbath just like the new moon. You treat the new moon like the Sabbath. All right. Let me get uh, this is Amos. Amos chapter eight and verse five. And you know, just another point. You know the um, you know anything that these so-called Jewish people, all right, the Jewish people, you know, they celebrating um the Sabbath every Friday and Saturday. All right, anything that 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 these so-called Jewish people do. All right, we we know that is wrong. We know that is wrong. All right, that's what the scriptures tell you: follow not the ways of the heathen. All right, these heathens, you know, they these Jewish Amalekites, you know, they believe that the Sabbath is every Friday and Saturday sundown. All right, so we know that that we we know that that's wrong, just off the fact that these Jewish people are doing are celebrating it. All right, every, everything they they do is backwards. All right, this is Amos chapter 8 and verse 5, saying, When will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn and the Sabbath that we may set forth wheat, making the, the ephah small and the shekels great and falsifying the balances by the seat? All right, so they was asking, uh, When will the new moon be gone that they may sell? That they, that they, that they may sell. All right, that's because the new moon, you know, the new moon, you treat the new moon like like the Sabbath. All right, on the Sabbath, you're not allowed to sell. All right, you're not supposed to work. All right, you, 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 you're not supposed to, you know, you're not supposed to be doing these things. You're supposed to, the Sabbath is, is for rest. All right, so that's how we know that the new moon, the, that the new moon is the Sabbath. All right, because they said... When will the new moon be gone that we may sell? So they was waiting for the new moon to be gone that they could be that they can sell. All right, and that's how we know that the new moon is the Sabbath, and that's and that's how we dictate the month. That's the start of the month. All right, off the new moon. All right, that's the first day of the week, according to the. That's the first day of the week. That's the first day of the month. All right, get one more precept.
This is Sirach chapter 43, and I'll start with verse 5. Great is the Lord that made it, and, and at his commandment runneth hastily. All right, verse 6, the point. He he made the moon also to serve in, in, in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. All right, and it says, verse 7, from... From the moon is the sign of feast, a light that decreases in her perfection. So, all right. So the point here, you know, we, 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 we supposed to be looking at, we supposed to be, um, the moon is, that's how we tell the time. All right. That's how we know that the Sabbath is, is on its way, you know, just by how the moon, all right. When you see the moon, all right, you should be able to know, okay, a new month is about to come in. All right. You should know that, okay. The, the it's uh the, the, we got about a week, a week and a half until the new moon comes, all right, and and, and this this is this is what our um this is what our ancestors was doing, our forefathers was doing, all right. We wasn't we wasn't going by the times of Esau, all right, because Esau he can change, he can he can change the 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 times, all right. He can say that this that the that the new year is in December. All right, but Esau, he don't have the power to to change to change the moon. All right, to change the sun. All right, so um, it was just a short lesson on the Sabbath. All right, you know um, you know tonight's the Sabbath, and you know you know I've been meditating on this for a couple of weeks. You know on the, on one of these Sabbaths that I'm gonna uh, make a video about the Sabbath. All right, I never touched on a topic, but um. You know, Lord willing, the video is edifying. Okay, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I'm gonna give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000, along with the one third men, women, and children that the Lord have mercy upon. All right, to the next lesson, I'm gonna say Shalom.